Hey, what's going on? It's Big Grime. I got Battery 3 and Sonar 7. And uh had someone ask me how to how to chop samples in Sonar. And there's several, there's, there's a few ways you could do that. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and find a sample. Um, for those who who's probably going to ask this question, you cannot... You can, I mean, you can cut up samples in battery, but there's no automatic way of doing it. The only automatic way of doing it is taking a Rex file that you um, put in recycle, or you make it a uh, acid loop and sonar. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Let's see. Used that sample before. When I use that, I didn't chop it up. Alright, so we got the sample. I'm just going to trim it up to the beginning. say I want to chop this sample um, I could physically go in and go in where I want to slice and just hit s to slice it in different parts and export it out to different parts and then put it those different parts into battery which would be a little time consuming all right what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get the tempo and how can you do that tap tempo if you don't know how to tap tempo in sonar 7 I got a video for that too already, so search that. So I'm about to tap tempo um, this sample. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to slice it right here. Let's just say I want that section. I'm going to assume that I do. What I could do is, now I could hit Control L to turn to an acid loop. But to make sure that it, it turns out right, what I want to do is, is go to Edit, Bounce the Clip. Because when I do that, it's almost treating it like the other part of the song didn't exist. Because, see, when I pull it out, there's no song. Where before, let me let me undo what I did. Where before, if I pull it out, you still see the song. But when I bounce the, when I bounce the clip, that means that song, that other part of the song does not exist anymore. So I'm going to um, I'm split and cut that off and bounce the clip. Now, 
we'll hit control L or I can right click on it and go to uh, groove clip, clip looping which is basically turn into an acid loop now when I double click on it you see my slices I can take some away or I can add more if I want to um, let's go to my erase just say I uh, and just move around I can move them around where I want to to have the slice but let's say I moved it around I got my slices that I want um, in here I can also change the um, panning the pitch um, you know do a few other things to it but this is where you would do all your slicing and everything and this is non-destructive by the way if you save it as an acid loop you can pull it back up and change it again so let's say I'm going to go, I'm going to save this as an acid, acid loop. Just name it one. So now, when I pull it up in battery, I just double click on it and boom my slices are already there and also with this you can change that's why you that's how you can change the tempo of it too you can actually play it out So if I just play the keys real fast, <laughs> it sounds kind of fucked up, but but that's how you can cut your slices up. It's really better to do it in sonar and then import it into battery because that way you can change, like I said, you can change the pitch in sonar. And so when you put it in battery, those pitch changes will show up. And it's non-destructive, meaning that if let's just say I'm messing around with it in battery and I don't like it, I just, op just start a new kit. Even if I close all this out, I can pull this loop back up and make the changes and it would be like I never did anything to it. So I mean, really this is the this is the way I like to chop up my samples. I put it in sonar, do the acid loops, slice it up, then put it in battery. It's the best way that I do it. I mean, because you can physically do it in battery, but it's not as nice and laid out like this is. All right? So again, check me out. Free big grind beast dot com. All right, peace.